Hey guys, um, we're doing things a little bit different today. We're going to review a machine or an energy device. And what I'll do over the next couple of months, we'll review quite a fair few energy devices and I'll show you the pros and cons of each um, device. Today we'll be reviewing this, the E-Matrix. Um, this system is from Cinderon Candela and um, I'll go through with you um, how it works and um, what the treatment parameters are and how I use this machine in the practice. Um, is this machine good? Yes it is. What do I use it for? I like using it for early acne scarring. So only early acne scars and I like using it for box scar scarring, atrophic scarring. The great thing about this is that unlike a laser, it can be used on any skin type including even darker skin type patients. So it's a very low risk, low downtime procedure but it's only good for certain types of acne scars and that's usually mild scarring. Um, how it works is that it's not a laser, it works by using what's known as radio frequency. So it comes in this as a tip box, and we'll come close and I'll show you what the tip is. So this tip is removable. In Australia we get the standard 64, I think we, we can also get a 32 tip and a 128 tip as well. So this is the 64 tip. Um, that goes on here, so that's a consumable, um, and that's 64 um, pins. So each time you contact that, that's 64 pins that you actually contact through. So it's called sublative. Okay guys, so you can see now um, the different treatment levels. In Australia we have treatment levels A, B and C much like the US and they all um, account for different um, power settings. So if you look at treatment level A, the default setting is only 10 millijoules per pin but we can increase that up to 20 millijoules, so that's for treatment A. If we go to the maximum, which is treatment level C, by default it goes 70 millijoules per pin, but in Australia we can override that and we can keep going all the way up, and you can go up to 100 millijoules per pin. So super high intensity. So that's what the treatment levels are, A, B, or C. So when you see your um, aesthetician, your dermatologist, plastic surgeon, or beautician, or whoever does this, um, you can ask them what treatment levels you're on and how many millijoules per pin. This will give you an accurate um, assessment in regards to the power level of which you, you've, you've received. The other thing as well is, remember, it's not just the power level, um, it's also the overlaps which they do. In other words, with this tip, um, how often they overlap it. In other words, they might have a 50% overlap, 25% overlap, or they even might, might do two passes. So you can ask them, um, how many passes have I done at um, how many millijoules per pin or what treatment level. The best things actually go by millijoules and not by the um, default treatment level because like I said, even within the same treatment level of uh, treatment level B, you can see uh, there's a marked variation of, of, um, of treatment parameters all the way from, you know, 30 to 70. So, okay guys, so here we are. Um, this is not a laser, so I'm not wearing any safety glasses or any protection or anything like that because once you hit this trigger, nothing happens. It's got to be in contact with your skin. So how we do this is that we actually press this in your skin, give it a little twist to make sure the contact's there, and then we fire it. So you can hear this little click, and that means it's fired. So does it sting at this level of 25 uh, pain scale? 1 out of 10. If I miss the click, in other words, the contact is really bad, this is what you hear. Hear that? It means it's not contacting your skin. This is a good contact. So um, what this does is that it provides radio frequency energy, in other words, heat through both these electrodes. So the electrodes are actually very, very tiny. It's a positive and negative electrode and energy gets delivered through that. And what happens is that that energy is converted to heat and that breaks down the collagen, stimulates um, a whole cascade and remodels scars as well. So this is E-matrix or sublative. Um, and like I said, I love using it. I use this as part of the acne free program, especially when I'm treating early acne scars. For late acne scars, I use a whole heap of other devices, including fractionated lasers, ablative lasers, TCA cross, and even Infini, which is the latest in RF. So there you go, guys. Thanks for that. Now, that was my take on E-Matrix and how I use this. 
Now, this is all the company bullshit that goes on with um, eMatrix. Is it good as an overall facial rejuvenation? Yes, it is. It can be good for wrinkles, it can be good for brown pigmentation, wrinkles, spots, um, crepey skin, laxity, the whole lot. But are there other devices that are actually better than sublative? Absolutely. This is not the machine that does everything. I do believe it does help with scarring, but like I said, only in early scarring. Um, it does have minimal pain, minimal downtime, and it's great for all ethnic skin type. But I don't think this is the machine of choice for wrinkling. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. This is day one after, day three after. And look, patient's completely healed up by day four. But look how subtle the results are between um, treatments. If you look at two treatments from this, you can barely notice a difference at all between the before and afters. So look, I'm not a fan of it for, um, for rejuvenation. I do believe that there are many other devices out there, including fractionated devices, microneedling, PRP, that do a better job. So what is it good for? Well, I like using this for the treatment of early scars, and uh, it's designed to treat both acne and acne scarring together. So you can see the progress of um, this um, treatment itself. It is very, very effective on early acne scars. So that's very early acne scars, especially rolling scars. Radio frequency is unlike laser. You can see with this procedure itself, there's no areas of bleeding, there's no smoke, there's no plume, you don't need eye protection. Um, it is a very, very quick, easy, relatively painless process to um, undertake. And once again, it can be used on different skin types, including darker skin types. And like I said, it is really good for the prevention of scars and treating early scars. So this is how it actually works. It doesn't break skin. You can see from the diagram on the top left hand side, it ablates or subablates the top part of your skin called the epidermis. And the clicking noise you hear is the energy being delivered with each pulse. So typically patients um, undergo this treatment, it takes about 10 minutes to do. So once again, it targets the dermis. Um, that's where your scars are. So we want to spare the epidermis, the upper part, and target where your scars lie. So the reason why I like this machine is the reliability of it, but also I can actually measure the impedance um, and also the power, le power levels and power settings. So this is what we typically see after radio frequency treatments after four sessions. I like doing these monthly, so four to five radio frequency treatments uh, every month. Uh, and these are the expected results. So baseline scarring uh, together to, with acne. Four weeks later, we can still see scarring and acne. But as time goes by, at eight weeks, it gets better. And at 12 weeks, it's better still. 16 weeks, it's much better. And at 20 weeks, the scars are almost gone. And this is after four e-matrix sessions, one month apart, the before and after. It's almost scar-free. Um, and here's a more subtle example. Uh, it's best observed with angle lighting, but once again, it's scar-free after four e-matrix sessions. So look, thanks again for watching my videos and um, please subscribe uh, to this channel for more information on acne scar revision. Thank you.